is the, uh, the the playmaker in the middle, Tasu in goal. Debebe, the captain at the back with Halu, and uh, the Cameroon officials who will be uh, looking after this game. Nia Alioum, the man in charge today, there in the middle with Everest Mekwande and yeah, Musa, Yanusa Musa and to Henry Mwanjo, the fourth official. We'll now take a look at the Nigerian team. More, they're a lot more familiar, these uh, names, I can tell you that. Eniyama plays his football for Lille. Elderson Echigile, um, Egwe Kwe, Godfrey Oboabona, F.A. Ambrose plays his football in Scotland for Celtic. John Obi Mikel, Eugenio Nazi, the Lazio man. Mikel, the linchpin in the middle. Victor Moses, Liverpool player. Obuamadi, Ahmed Moussa, and uh, that's the lineup. They go for a 4 4 2 just with Emenike just ahead of Moussa as they try and split the Ethiopian defence. Enyama, 37 years of age, a veteran for this uh, Nigerian team, but a very important player, and he's played in so many big matches. This is one of them, and uh, he'll be there and he'll be leading his men out. Uh, against a hungry pack of wolves, I can call them wolves on this occasion, although they're antelopes, of course, because they're hungry, very hungry. Sonet Bishan, two, it's his second spell as coach for Ethiopia. He enjoyed uh, and endured a couple of years back in the, uh, the start of the new millennium, and now he's back in the fold, and he's done some wonderful things. Well, there's the man, John obi Mikel, the man who plays for Chelsea. Stephen Keshi, well, he led them to the Africa Cup of Nations title back at the start of the year. He knows exactly what he's doing at the, uh, the helm of this uh, Super Eagle squad. Well, there we have it. Pitch, pretty good condition. 22 degrees and 56% of humidity. Uh, uh, 56% humidity. And the two, we saw a bit of rain earlier on as well. Just waiting for Mr. Alium to get the game underway. And the, in front of all of these, uh, well, very, very geared up supporters. Ahmed Moussa, there he is, one of the uh, players for this Nigerian side. Well, Shimales Bekele and Saladin Said. Watch out for Saladin Said. He really is one of the star players for this Ethiopian side. Playing in green, red and yellow. The colours of the flag up against Nigeria in white. Game just uh, getting underway. And they've been playing some very interesting football already. Is that a foul? The referee says play on. The ball goes back to Enyama. And uh, it was Saladin Said gets bundled over. The ball gets back to Tasu, the Ethiopian goalkeeper. Moves the ball out to Bertakul. Only a few of these players for uh, Ethiopia play outside of the country. We've got uh, Kebede, who's uh, one of their key players, who's actually missing because he's got a knee injury. He plays in South Africa, just wasn't fit to play. We might see him for the return leg. Well, this is wonderful stuff, passing the ball around. They don't, they don't play just for the sake of it. They play wonderful football, Botaco. Oh, look at this, this is wonderful stuff. Getting the ball to Girma. Fans already enjoying it. Passing the ball around. Nigeria, a bit of pressure. A few bubbles on the pitch. Is Ethiopia with a good chance? Should they try and get a shot in? Well, they're being patient, aren't they? Oh, the one-two, it wasn't bad. Good stuff. Wonderful one-two. Cut out by Oboabona. He plays his football in Turkey for risk. All the fans are just jumping with joy. And you can't blame them. Saunet Bishop watches on with a very uh, straight face. Corner being taken by Asefa. Watch out for Said. Good in the air he is, indeed. Need a bit of movement. Good header at the front post there from Ambrose. It's a great pass and the shot comes in. Well, it was a cross and it's just gone over the uh, crossbar. Good opportunity. Pressure is on. Love the way that they play their football. It was Saladin Said, who's just uh, in the thick of it on that occasion. Well, two minutes, I don't know how I'm going to last 90 minutes, but we'll see how we get on. 
because it's frenetic already. Second corner. And uh, clearance from the man at the front there, the uh, the defender. Oh, it's a nice little bit of a uh, good nutmeg, but uh, carry on, play on, says the referee. And Nigeria walk away with possession. Just uh, slips there, MNEK. Algeria back in possession. Slightly too strong. Oh, he's been dispossessed. What on earth was he doing? Well, that was a good interception as well. Need to show. Well, that's going to be a throw in if it goes out. But he's been kept in. Good play there from Ishijili. Oh, how much do they want this? Well, that's excellent play there from uh, Said. He needs backup. Now, Nigeria on the attack, this time with MNEK. Oh, the Fenerbahce man does uh, very well, gets the deflection, wins the corner. Steven Kershi, been the helm for a few years now, and a uh, very experienced coach indeed. Worked with the, uh, the under-21s as well. something just to make sure that there's no uh, handling there it's uh, an LM Hilu it's all over Victor Moses and the ball comes out wide and it's Mikel with the uh, shot just uh, flex off one of the defenders oh nice nutmeg ball just absolutely slammed back into Hilu's uh, face Nice play, wins the throw in. Plus, Saeed's just getting back to the fans. They're all uh, very eager to perform and uh, represent their country. It's a good play from Ethiopia, winning the throw in. Like to pass the ball around. Saladin Said plays for Wadi Degla in uh, Egypt, played in Belgium as well for Lies. Probably the biggest star. And, uh, win a throw in. Uh, uh, free kick, sorry. The hustling play there from Ugeni Onazi, the Lazio man. Weak decision there from the referee. Moses stands on at the free kick. There's a number of Nigerians there looking to try and test the goalkeeper Tasu. High ball over the top, the flag goes up, and the offside trap works an absolute treat. You can read that very well, the, uh, the front men. So, a little scare there for. Uh, Ethiopia, but they're back on track. They want to try and calm things down. It's been a uh, played at a frenetic pace already. In the opening exchanges. Just to underline how important football has become or is in Ethiopia. Meskil Square, which is uh, the main square in Addis Ababa. Big posters of the other uh, team and some of the players. Uh, it really has become a big business here. I've always been fans of, uh, of football. They love their English Premier League football. But, uh, the Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester United shirts have, uh, have been put away. And all of the fans are wearing the green tops of the Wallia Antelopes recently. Who can blame them? We do have a very exciting team. A good crop of players here. Said tries the, the back heel, does very well. Good opportunity. There's the one two. It's a good play, isn't it? And the shot comes in, it's not a bad effort. Could have been better, but uh, Asefa, just with a grass cutter, not on target. Just 
Hunter launched from quite a way out. Can't blame him for just having a pop of goal. Ansar Inyama. With Lille for a long time in the uh, French Liga. Decent enough challenge, but uh, Victor Moses is unhappy there. Gets frustrated, it's going to be a... It's going to work in Ethiopia's favour, that's for sure. Very important player, talismanic. Went on loan to Chelsea, of course, but uh, was also... He's under contract with Liverpool. Just goes to show his, uh, the quality that he has. And uh, they're just putting pressure on. They're not Shimalis Bekele. Just putting a little bit of pressure on the, the man at the uh, back. Ambrose, there it is. It's going to be a throw in for Ethiopia. Laying down the laws already. Uh, passing of the ball there from Ethiopia. Bit of a bobble on the on the pitch, isn't there? It's very uh, dry, but uh, there's the challenge. Very, just a sturdy challenge there from Ababao Utako. This has just calmed down a little, I think. The referee saying no harm done. It's uh, the West against the East African clash. Uh, fans are in the in the stands enjoying this one. Free kick down that right side to the tenth minute. Flies over the top of Eminike. Uh, the Fenerbahce forward. It's going to be a throw in for Ethiopia. isn't it? They really put themselves in the, in the spotlight, in the limelight, not just in the African continent. <laughs> Look at that, it's a wonderful back here. And a little flick, I just love it. It really is uh, quite impressive. Playing like, uh, I think it was uh, Sunday Mbar who described them saying they all play at home, uh, apart from three or four of the players. And, uh, They've got a kind of a, a Barcelona-style feel to them. There's a little story that I would just absolutely love, and it was... Uh, they know that they've got these fanatically exuberant fans, and during their match against uh, one of their teams in the Africa Cup of Nations, they had a... they put up a sign in the, in the stand saying, sorry for our behaviour, and it was a, just a delightful apology was referring to some uh, mad bottle chucking in a previous game and then afterwards at the bottom he said but we just love the game and you can see that they absolutely love their football so, uh, still haven't got any goals on the scoreboards just yet but uh, plenty of time plenty of opportunities but uh, Ethiopia just showing exactly what kind of football they like to play and uh, it's very extravagant. Great ball down at this right side into the hands of uh, Enyama. No such worry for him. Again, Saeed with the chase. Well, they've only got three players who play, uh, four players who play outside of, uh, outside of Ethiopia. Just goes to show how much of a close knit squad they are. Strong challenge there, I'm afraid, uh, from Sium Tasfe. Might pick up a yellow card. Go 
want to be looking at yellow cards. You can avoid it. That's really important because obviously for the return match. But, uh, wrong name there. I'm afraid it's Siyum Tesfai who picks it up. And uh, the challenge was on Udomari. So I just ignored the, uh, the graphic that came up on the screen. There's the free kick. There's the header and it's a little bit of a, a barge in the back. Uh, the infringement just picked out by uh, Musa, Musa, the uh, Cameroon linesman. Oh, you can't give away the ball that easily. Not to this man here, Victor Moses, going for the shot. Oh, he drills it wide. That's a very good from uh, the Liverpool man. Saladin at Said. Six foot, born in Asosa. He's the play for San George, the, a team that actually plays here at the Addis Ababa Stadium. Uh, poor understanding there. We need to communicate better. Nigeria will take advantage, we know that. Now it's uh, Chijile. Going to throw in for Nigeria once again. Chijile collects. Oh, he's just being harrowed out. And, uh, Ramadi unable to uh, keep that in play. Like Said, the only player who plays in Europe. Alitehad play in the African Champions League, of course. In, uh, the Sudanese team, Shimlis Bekele plays for them. Now, what can they do here? Ethiopia on the attack, just uh, passing the ball around, using this left flank. That's a wonderful pass. Now, is this going to be a... A shot he's oh, he's just been all just been smuggled off him at the last second and the clearance was made. But, uh, they're just coming in thick and fast. Uh, just uh, robbed just as he was setting up a shot. You need to be careful, you need to communicate a bit better with each other as we reach 15 minutes. Chidile looking for some support there. there on that occasion the ball will go back to the uh, central defender oh, it's, well it was a hospital pass it was a very dangerous one and it could have been intercepted by the Nigerians especially Moses MNEK just charging through they need to be aware and on that occasion Debibi the captain wasn't really present it's gonna be a throw in on this right side Nigeria just uh, upping the ante but a bit of pressure on the Ethiopians just to uh, put pressure on their opponents. Oh, he does well, he does very well. Oh, that's a very, very quick ball, quick pass like that. But the, the following effort, not very good there by uh, Sefa. Should have done better. Nigeria on the attack now. Oh, he wasn't offside, the flag didn't go up. If that had gone through, then uh, MNEK would have been clear on goal. Crazy pace this game is being played at, I must admit. Excellent pass. Couldn't thread the ball through to himself. There's the infringement. This time it's uh, Mikel who's down. The Chelsea man. Ooh, that was uh, really dangerous, but uh, from Tishon. John plays for San George. Well, ten players out of the uh, 24 play for at San George. Good vision. That was uh, poor control at the back. 
uh, quite disappointing there by Hilu. It's Shijile with the uh, throw in for Nigeria. Every time that the Nigerians get hold of the ball, the Ethiopian fans are uh, making a bit of noise and uh, a little bit of whistling. Victor Moses goes down. 18 minutes gone, still no goals in Addis Ababa. There's uh, a lot of lively activity, plenty of drama. And, uh, Expecting a kind of an Agatha Christie storyline today here in Ethiopia. Free kick for Nigeria. The Super Eagles looking to find some of their uh, teammates soaring high up into the penalty area. It's going to be taken there by Musa. Musa and the goalkeeper comes out. Oh, he misses it. Tasu is lucky. Let off the hook. But there, that was a. Uh, he shouldn't have really had to go that far out. He should have been organizing his uh, defense there. Utako and Debebe, captain, should have been marshalling a bit better. Another this time it's a corner. Comes in, oh, there's the uh, ball just goes off. Very poorly directed by uh, Mikel. Taken quickly, and uh, Mikel comes to the rescue, pinches it. Very, very strong and, and solid player he is indeed. Oh, he's just arrowed off the ball, completely uh, lost there. Good play in the midfield there from Musa. Just picked up by Onazi. There's uh, Musa again. This time at Chijile. Nazi brings the ball out wide to the other side. It's time to take uh, a Oh, very strong challenge. That was sublime from Ethiopia there. Clearance quite solid. Good skills there. Oh, Moses. Ball just quickly taken. Now is a good chance. The cross comes in. But uh, ball is a good opportunity. What can Nigeria do here? The ball comes in. Oh, and he just can't hit the target there, can he? That was uh, a great opportunity there for Edouard Mardi. But he just side footed the ball, bobbled maybe. I mean, uh, blame it on a blade of grass. I don't know. But uh, well, the header wasn't very good there from Botaco. Ball comes across. Pretty much. Uh, a chance, wasn't it? Blame it on the grass, blame it on the boots, blame it on whatever you like. You didn't hit the target. You've got to hit the target from there. 20 minutes in, and uh, Nigeria just uh, laying down the foundations here in Addis Ababa, showing exactly what they want to do. Challenge. Yeah, from the uh, right back, Siuma Tesfaye. touch football. Mikel gets the uh, crossover with uh, MNEK. I'm able to connect. It's going to be a throw in. And it's for Ethiopia. Just pushed out by Musa. say the football that the Ethiopians are playing is very entertaining. Oh, look at that. That's just sublime. I love that. But uh, there you go. It's, uh, it's all about keeping control and keeping, your, uh, keeping yourself cool. Just for those final passes. Crucial. Now they've got a bit of space down this right side. 
hands there. Asefa has got the ball, looking for some support. Oh, that's not bad at all, is it? He managed to find his uh, connection there. Oh, look at that. Just a step over. Pele taught us how to do that. Oh, it's, um, it's not bad, but they just want to clear the danger as quickly as possible. Ethiopia under bombardment. Opa Borna, the uh, Turkish based player, getting rid of the ball as quickly as possible. Nice, nice passing. Oh, the ball's gone through. Can he get a shot in on goal? He needs to try and test the goalkeeper. But Enyama, he just uh, foils that. It wasn't a hard shot, but he got himself into a great position, Germa, on that right side. And they're just fooling the Nigerian defenders, aren't they? Well, he's just uh, throwing his leg at it. He was stumbling somewhat. Couldn't get a clear-cut crossover or a decent shot. And that was probably the best opportunity we've seen from the home side. Halfway through the first half, no goals scored in Addis Ababa. A lively encounter. Plenty of tension. Oh, it's a high ball over the top. Good, good draw, look at that! Oh, it's gone in, has it gone in? Well, he's celebrating as if it has. Saladin Saeed, and the goal hasn't been given. Did that go across the line? Well, that's a big, big question, isn't it? We know in Brazil, goal line technology will be implemented. But that goal wasn't given. It didn't go across the line, says Mr. Alium, the Cameroonian referee. The control was just incredible. And Saeed is just going mad on the sidelines, talking to the linesman. Well, 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 robbed. That's how he feels. He feels robbed. Let's have a look at that again. Well, first of all, he was onside. The control was excellent. Little chip over. Well, that's a difficult one, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not too sure. I mean, it's a fantastic clearance, I must admit. didn't go over, I'm not too sure, but uh, Ubuah Bona did exceptionally well. And now we're at the other end, and Nigeria have a free kick. Well, well, well. What next? Free kick comes in, floated over towards the back post. Too strong, going out for a goal kick. Stephen Keshi watches on. Mm. I'd like to know what that man's thinking. Tasu with the uh, goal kick. Balls floated and just uh, allowed to bounce. But Saeed unable to uh, go and tidy up on that occasion. Nigeria, the Super Eagles down this right side. A threat at the back. Tasu collects, brings the ball out wide to Tisfai. themselves available this is good stuff Asefa oh the back heel I love this this is just glorious well it's too strong isn't it it's a bit of a wild pass down that right flank should have done better Sonet Bishow Bishain knows exactly what he was thinking it's gonna be a throw in for Echijili someone to uh, stand up and be counted on that occasion, get rid of the ball and hoof it away before falling the pressure from the Nigerians. Well, there's no, uh, no point looking at your clock just yet. There's plenty of time left in this match, Mr. Keshi. And uh, Nigeria with uh, floating a ball over once again. And... Uh, uh, an infringement there, Moses, Moses just getting in the way, taking quickly to Asefa.
ball threaded through the midfield. Good, strong challenge there. So Boabona just uh, coming in to uh, intercept. And uh, once again, just showing exactly what they're capable of doing. This is uh, Helu. High ball over the top. It's not bad at all. In the armor coming out and collecting tiding. Now uh, just preventing a Gurma from getting in, getting in the way. Sorry, uh, Bekele. Apologize. Well, at the moment, they're both looking pretty well balanced as far as this clash is concerned. The team has uh, really looked miles better than the other. Ethiopia looking very dangerous. And Yama again comes out. Trying a little bit of everything here, the Ethiopians, and they can't blame them. High balls uh, cross field, intricate passing through the middle. Need to test the goalkeeper a little bit more. Ball goes out, unfortunately it was uh, poorly controlled there by the Chigile. Plays his football for Sporting Braga in Portugal. with uh, Moses. Moses just uh, trying to link up with his uh, man at the front, Emmanuel Emenike. Challenge that was uh, Bonazi and uh, well, Ethiopia with a free kick here. Now, I don't even know what kind of effort they're going to produce if they're going to make the cross, if they're just going to fly, float one in over there towards the far post, or we'll take a direct shot on goal. But anything's possible with this wonderful Ethiopian side. And uh, I'm not taking credit away from the Nigerians, they're a top class team indeed. That's a crop shot that's coming straight in. Directly taken by Butako. And, uh, Coach Shannon. Just watches on. Well, the attempt by... Uh, Emenike just to slip the ball to his uh, teammate there. Mikel coming through. It's good play. It's very, very composed play. Love it. Passing the ball around beautifully. And uh, good work off the ball as well. That's a great bit of passing. And uh, just uh, being realistic with your options. That's what it's all about. Look at this. Well, I can't believe it. They're fantastic skills. Look at this down this left side now. Said, he's going past him. Is that a penalty? The referee says no. Let off the hook again. Said wasn't given that goal. Well, that, that uh, ball, that, uh, the goal that allegedly went across the line as, as far as he was concerned. And now uh, he wasn't bundled over and there was no foul. So the has gone down. And the referee wants to uh, stop the game a second. I think it's... Uh, Zephyr. It's going to be a free kick for Ethiopia. 31 minutes gone. The impression they've been playing for hours. It's just so much taking place in this high octane encounter in Addis Ababa. World Cup playoff match. The first leg of two, 180 minutes to decide which one of these two nations go through. There's a, oh, it's not a bad little flick. Uh, just through that middle there to Shomo, trying to pick, link up with Said. In the armor. 
Good strong header at the back there from uh, Tesfaye. Well, there's the uh, cross coming in. Oh, it's a great shot. Wonderful save as well. Well, it was uh, a bit of a snapshot there, and Tassu just came to the rescue. Just did exactly what he needed to do. The shot was from uh, Ahmed Musa. And uh, that was uh, classy stuff. Look at him. He just saw that opportunity. Good volley. And uh, good save there as well. Good reaction from Tassu. The resulting throw in. And Ethiopia just pick up the pieces at the back. Hungry for possession. They really are. Look at this. This is good play. See their options. They understand what's going on here. Need to be quicker. Oh, that's a delightful pass down this right side. Oh, and he just pushes the ball out. Has it gone too far? The linesman says yes. Nigerian possession, Victor Moses just using a chigile. Back to uh, Moses, squares the ball into uh, Guabuna. Finally. It's just a wild, wild pass. Good solid header back to Tassu. No major problems there. Put you in the picture with uh, Tassu. Plays for Ethiopian Coffee. He's only 24 years of age. He's, uh, he has played a number of matches. He's, this is his 11th game for Ethiopia. His goalkeeper. This is the referee. His attention is uh, drawn over to the sideline. A little water break. Well, the Nigerian players just not understanding what's going on here. And uh, it basically gives uh, Sene Bishan the, the chance to have a little chat with some of his players. Well, there's Mikel. Mikel has. Uh, Proved to be an important player for Nigeria over the years. We know that. How influential can he be out here today? There's the uh, the throw in taken there by Igwekwe. Uh, well, that's a uh, fair play. Ball given back to the goalkeeper, Tassu. As they launch another attack, just under 10 minutes to go. Wonderful ball. Now should get a shot in on goal. Oh, it's not on target. It's not on target. And now Danny Gilmer knows that he needs to hit the target. Same applies for Nigeria. You're only going to get goals if you test the goalkeeper. And I'm afraid he didn't even test the goalkeeper. Just saw that he had a, a Nigerian player just chasing him down very quickly. That's what they've done in the past. Just to dispossess the man with the ball. On that occasion, wasn't going anywhere. Now, the referee wants Vincent and Yama to cut it out. Get on with it. Cameroon at referee. Neil Aliuma. <laughs> but I don't know why Stephen Keshi's looking at his watch all the time. Maybe he wants to try and make a few adjustments in the changing rooms at half time. And uh, a bit of a team talk. And ball there, I think, from a Nigerian player, Victor Moses. Because he's, there's some kind of a concern on his face that uh, is uh, quite bewildering. Just don't know exactly what he's uh, thinking. Poorly controlled there by the Nigerians. Need to be careful. Can't play around in your own half. 
passing of the ball from uh, Saeed. He's possessed. Oh, that's good play. Excellent play. Now they've got a good opportunity. Now it's two on one. Surely he's going to get his shot in. Oh, look at this, look at this. He's gone over the crossbar. Can you believe it? He did everything right. Uh, Danny Gilma comes down to that one last shot and it goes over the bar. Skies the effort. All of it was so beautifully done. He could have even passed the ball out to the left. Uh, Said, but no. He wanted to go alone. And he just hoofed the ball over the crossbar. Sometimes you can't go for all that glory. You need to make the passes. But I must admit, he did exceptionally well there. And they are looking dangerous, aren't they, on the attack? Oh, look at this. They're at it again. Oh, this time the ball just uh, going too quickly. Last, uh, the man at the back there, Dibibi, needs to be careful. Nigeria on the counter-attack. Trying to get his shot in. He does well as well. Tassu smothering that. And uh, Emenike just uh, doing enough to get his shot in on target. Maybe that's what... Coach Stephen Keshi wants them to do. Launch more counter-attacks as soon as they push more players forward. Maybe that's uh, that's the mission. Well, there's a ball fired directly at Enyama. So you know nowhere to be seen on that occasion. Just over five minutes remaining of this first half. going to be a free kick for Nigeria going forward. MNEK once again in the thick of it. This time he wins the free kick. Dangerous position. It would be a massive blow for Ethiopia if Nigeria took the lead. But if they do, well, it just goes to show that they've got bags of experience. They've got some wonderful players in this squad. Uh, top quality players as well. Just have to run through the list. Uh, Mikel, MNEK, Moses, Ambrose, Shijile and Yama, very mature players, bags of experience. So might be a shot for Mikel. Grasping effort, but uh, not too bad, but it just goes over the crossbar. And that was Ahmed Musa, uh, sorry, uh, Onazi, the Lazio man. down and worry uh, Tassu. Little push on uh, Tesvai and it's going to be a free kick for Ethiopia. No goals scored just yet in this uh, World Cup playoff match. First leg. By the colours that you can see in the stadium, it's, uh, it's being played in Ethiopia, that's for sure. And that was a good charge, good chase there. Gurma's uh, alternating with Said, pushing up, being the, the lone man in front. And they work in tandem, those guys. Very strong in the air, the Nigerians. Makes sense because of their nickname. Well, there's uh, Mikel. Brings the ball out wide this time. Well, they win possession. Good opportunity. Now, what can they do with this? There's the pass. Oh, the pass is not good enough for uh, Say to pick up. Strong tackle. Uh, Megasa straight through the middle on uh, Mikel. 
two and a half minutes remaining in this first half. kick going against Ethiopia on this occasion. There we have Emenike winning it. And uh, he's not very happy as he did go to Bibi, the, uh, the captain of this uh, Ethiopian side. There it was, just a, a bit of shirt pulling on uh, Emenike. Well, that's a dangerous free kick. Well, Nigeria, if they can get a goal before the half-time whistle, I can tell you that they will go in thinking Luck is very much on their side. Moses, Moses at the front. And it's over the top there. It's again too strong. They're really not accurate with those uh, free kicks. Kashi watches on. Is he going to watch? Look at his watch again. On this occasion, no. Interception there with the header. Oh, it's beautiful play. Oh, look at that. That's a great pass. But it's uh, slightly ambitious, slightly over-ambitious. The idea was very good. And that's going to be a throw-in for uh, Ethiopia. That's very well won. Now, they need to move quickly now. Bring the ball out wide to uh, Tesfaye. Good play from Tesfai. The ball kicked out, and uh, Moses in the last touch, according to the linesman. Good skills. He's on side. He's on side, but uh, there's no one at the far post. Too strong the cross. Uh, what's going through the mind of this man here, Seonet Bishop? He has uh, implemented a very good uh, style of play. The tactics are, were, are good. That he's not finding the goals. His boys at the front, they need to try and hit the target. The Nigerian fans enjoy themselves, as you can see, and you can blame them. They're all uh, dressed up for the occasion. Wonderful fans indeed, the Nigerians, and a wonderful football mad nation as well. Oh, the ball there, and there's a good opportunity, guys, and Yama. Smothers it again, reads it very well. The flag goes up as well, so it's not going to be a clean cut opportunity. And uh, well, we've uh, reached the 45th minute. Might be a couple of added minutes. Yeah, he was definitely outside. Good call from the linesman. First offside of the game, can you imagine that? Dan Girma, he's the player who has found himself in a great situation to, uh, to try and score. Excellent clearance there from uh, Ambrose. Said, Said turns his man. Oh, he just uh, couldn't control the ball there. And uh, Ambrose gets rid of it. Good play on the counter attack now is uh, Mikel. Sorry, it's uh, Eminike. One back by uh, Ethiopia. Just uh, passing the ball around this time, Hilu. Oh, great play, great play. Can he launch? Well, there's uh, a good opportunity. Now, what can Ethiopia do here? Can he get a shot in? Oh, it's a great save from Enyama. And once again, Saeed is in the heat of the moment. He's in the middle of it, just getting himself involved on it each and every occasion. That shot was good. I thought he was going to lose the ball, but he didn't. He manages to get his shot in. It's the control, just brings the ball back. Bit of a close strike. Ethiopia with the corner. And there's the half-time whistle there. 
So Ethiopia nil, Nigeria nil. That's the first half scoreline at the Addis Ababa Stadium in Ethiopia. And uh, they had a few opportunities there to score. And then you can see Adam Kirma and Saladin Saeed both talking to each other. We need to seal something. We need to sort something out. We need to find the goals. Well, there's uh, Mikel, the Chelsea man, Victor Moses, the Liverpool man. Top quality players. Well, from all, all 22 of them, in fact. And I can tell you that we're expecting some fireworks in the second half. Something has got to give. Ethiopia, probably better, more clear-cut chances than Nigeria. But it's goalless after the first 45 minutes. Now it's time Stephen Keshi gets his chance to talk to his players. No more clock watching. It's all about producing the goods now. And Sonet Bishau, the coach of the Ethiopian team, well, he's probably saying, you guys need to test the goalkeeper. You need to get your shots in. That's really important. They're doing everything right, but they're not getting their efforts directly uh, fired at the goalkeeper. And that's a problem. So Nigeria pull up their socks and get themselves into those scoring opportunities. That's the scoreline at halftime. Ethiopia nil, Nigeria nil. We'll be back after a small break. Stay with us. waiting impatiently if you like for the second half of this clash between these two giants from uh, the two sides of the African continent we've had a couple of great opportunities for Ethiopia Saladin Said thought that he'd scored but in fact the ball didn't go over the line although he produced some great control in front of goal tried to thread the ball between the defender and the goalkeeper didn't really go past the line that's uh, what the referee and the linesman claim anyway. And uh, so no goals scored just yet. But it's been a, a very entertaining affair indeed. Ethiopia playing some wonderful football. Just can't find their scoring boots as yet. But there's still plenty of time for that to happen. Victor Moses and uh, Jonobi Mikel, the, uh, the players for, the key big players for this Nigerian side, still have yet to really test the goalkeeper Tasu for Ethiopia but as I said plenty of time for more fireworks at the moment no goals but uh, we've seen some excellent skills from Ethiopia intricate passing with no really good efforts on the end of their moves but uh, we'll see some in the second half I'm pretty sure about that so we're underway the second half here at the Addis Ababa Stadium. It's a high altitude stadium. As I mentioned in the first half, 2,300 meters above sea level, so thin air, which uh, could play in the hands of Ethiopia for the time being, especially in the dying 20 minutes when well, the lungs are getting tired, the legs are getting tired. But uh, Nigeria, there's no walkover, that's for sure. The Super Eagles, they're the African champions won the uh, Africa Cup of Nations this year, so they will be looking to try and uh, produce um, more winning exploits, hopefully take themselves all the way to Brazil for the World Cup. For a fourth time, uh, fifth time, sorry. Witness, uh, how many times have they competed? This was in 1994, there's the cross that's coming in. And, uh, good back heel, that's wonderful play there. Ball fired in, directly into the hands of Enyama from Utaco. No threat there. Nine fouls to seven. And uh, I'll put you in the picture regarding some of the statistics. Half-time statistics. One yellow card picked up by Tesfai. Ethiopian. Three corners to two for Ethiopia and uh, five shots each. One on target for Ethiopia, two for Nigeria. Conditions ideal, 22 degrees. Better there from 
from uh, Moses, uh, from Musa. Dibibi, the captain of this Ethiopian side, is doing, uh, getting rid of the danger. Another good header from the same man. at the back and the ball does go out it's going to be a throw in for Nigeria Shum unable to keep the ball in play goal kick then for Ethiopia and, uh, the dislike of uh, MNEK claims that it came off the foot of Butaku. Not the case, says the linesman. The pass back to uh, Dibibi. Dibibi was uh, Megersa. Clearance kick. It's scrappy at the start of the second half. We uh, free kick for uh, Ethiopia. Inside of the Nigerian half. So that challenge. Oh, he just uh, clattered Bekele as he came down from that challenge. Stephen Keshi that he had with his team you know, after half time probably closed them down closed them down as much as you can don't give them space stand on your man desperate clearance kick it's going to be a throw in for Nigeria logically To Moses. Played for England under 21s, under 19s, 18s, and then decided to uh, change his nationality to play for Nigeria. Born in Lagos, but uh, moved to England for political asylum reasons. And uh, came up through the ranks of Crystal Palace. The under 14 side, I think he scored 51 goals. He was a winger. Great talent. Now he buys uh, his trade for, for Chelsea, but he's on loan at the moment with Liverpool. With Brendan Rodgers and Co. Otherwise, he plays with uh, John and Mikel. There's a handball offence there, and it's going to be a free kick for Ethiopia. Five minutes in then, and uh, well. Might turn into a bit of an arm wrestle now. We can just see that uh, both teams have had a good talking to. It's uh, not as expansive as uh, we expected it to be in the as we saw it was in the first half. Maybe that will change as soon as we get a goal. Well cut out there at the back by Ambrose. Against uh, Bonazi. Seems that he uh, touched the ball with his hand. Good slick passing. Oh, there was no uh, understanding of what was going on there. It was uh, a big mistake. Finally, ball just uh, lofted over Helu up to the right hand side. Asefa. Asefa's got some. Makuma. Now, can they get a shot in on target? It's getting a bit congested, isn't it? Oh, the 1 2. Trying to play the slick football. Sometimes you just should uh, try and. That's the goalkeeper. Wonderful to watch, don't get me wrong, but uh, you want to see a shot at the end of it. So then 
that we didn't really see too much of in the first half. Just pass the ball to Amadi. Amadi just picking up Musa. Musa down this right side. Sorry, it's uh, M and EK. Waiting for support. there from Iguikwi. They win it back at uh, Ethiopia. Well, the player's just gone down. He seems to be okay. Back up on his feet. Mikael gets the ball out wide to Musa. And there's a foul. It's going to be a free kick there for Nigeria. Saw that uh, I think it was Mikel who went down. No, sorry, Odo Amadi. Just a strong challenge. Just a bit of a nudge there from Megessa. That's all he needed for the referee to stop the game. chance for Nigeria they want to float in a, a free kick over to the far post and they've taken it quickly and uh, it's a short free kick and Mikel's effort there was just very lacklust not good at all well, and you can't faff around with the ball in their own half they've got to be careful with that Ethiopia Oh, it's a good opportunity, it's a deflection. Oh, good play from Enyama, doesn't he do well? Does extremely well, the Lille goalkeeper. Oh, he's unlucky, he's unlucky indeed. Thought he was going to slip through Bikele, but uh, wasn't able to. Good play, good layoff. Now, can they get a shot in on goal? Oh, it just gets dispossessed. A little bit of a toe poke, that's all it took. And there's the foul on Toby Mikel. Penalised for that, and a yellow card as well. Oh, it's a slap in the face for him. They can't afford to pick up the yellow cards. That's their second after Tespe, the right back. And, uh, Germa is the man responsible. A little, nice little stranglehold. A little bit of love between the two players. Good use of the field. Excellent stuff. The ball comes out to Teshom. Teshom just slips the ball down the left side now to... Uh, Bekele, the shot comes, oh, he was nearly caught off guard, is that a goal, that's a goal, they've even given the goal, he, he missed out, he didn't understand what was going on, it wasn't even a shot, well that is quite extraordinary, well, 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 how on earth, I, honestly, I can't, um, I just can't get my head around what happened there, because what was the goalkeeper thinking, eniyama has got bags of experience, he's 31 years of age, and he just didn't see the ball come over, and uh, surely that's going to be awarded because, well, yes, it is. He was taking his shirt off in celebration, but uh, no one really understood what was happening there, not even the fans. There was a delayed reaction. We can see it again. It's uh, a Sefa. Well, on this occasion, see, I don't even know if it went over the line. And Enyama's feet were behind the goal line. Well, on a day like this, oh, there's a bit of a miss here. <laughs> Look at that, Enyama. And the celebrations are taking place in Alice Ababa from what has been quite a, a crazy effort and a, a goal. I honestly can't get my head around it. That was just unbelievable. 
We thought it was going to come from their Barcelona-esque style skills, or maybe a Nigerian goal from Moses or Mikel, or maybe Emenike. Not the case. It comes from a, a fluffed uh, cross from the left-hand side with an Enyama just uh, miscalculated completely. Unbelievable stuff. So a Sepa will take that. Any goal's good, I must admit. And he picks up a yellow card for his efforts, but uh, the fans, well, they're jumping with joy now, and who can blame, who can blame them? They're uh, enjoying themselves. Keshi must be going, what on earth's going on? That's not real football. <laughs> well, I'm afraid it is, sir, because every goal counts, as I said. Now, they're on the attack once again. This uh, Ethiopian side, and the game has just come to life. We had 10 minutes of a uh, strange transparency. We entered the twilight zone, but now we're back, and we can see that the fans have started to wake up. Well, maybe they needed something for, uh, to, to trigger the reaction, and they got it from that very strange goal. Another cross coming in from this time, and there's the header, but this time in the armor. Well, he's off his line, which I'm glad to say, and this time with safe hands. Bonazzi bringing the ball out to the left hand, left hand side. Zara Mikel looking for support. He has it through MNEK. Let's see what they can do here, Nigeria, how they respond. Well, there's the, uh, the attempted pass, but it's uh, Ethiopia. Oop, the ball upfield. Why not? Looking for Said. It's not bad at all. But this time, quickly comes to the rescue. Oh, the referee goes down. There we go. Back up on his feet, not a problem. Oduamari, Oduamari, sorry, and he just uh, slips the ball back to Ambrose, Ambrose looking for support, looking for maybe a 1-2, he's being uh, held there by uh, Tesho, he's got some support, comes back to Ambrose, Ambrose, Oduamari, who goes out, and Nigeria has the ball of possession, half an hour remaining, Ethiopia have the lead, Wild celebrations are really reaching fever pitch now through this Addis Ababa Stadium as uh, Ambrose takes the throw in on his right side. A little bit of pushing and shoving between uh, some of the players there. I think it's uh, Mikel with uh, Hilu. Sorry, Nagiasa. Long throw in. There's the header. Back to Ambrose. Oh, good challenge. Solid challenge. Two-footed challenge. Is that going to be a free kick or oh, maybe yes? And to show him at fault there. No, it's going to be a throw. -in, sorry. So another long throw. Needs to be careful with these uh, Ethiopia. Very dangerous. The Super Eagles looking to try and get the ball towards the goalkeeper Tasso, but the clearance kick good enough. Nigeria needs to react. Stephen Keshi, man in charge of this uh, very talented squad indeed. And this time, Ambrose unable to get his cross in. Oh, that challenge was just impeccable, wasn't it? Now, what can they do? Counter attack. They've got numbers now. Can they launch a very quick counter attack? Looking for quick reaction. And this time it's uh, Sepa. He's running out of space down there. Brings the ball back to test fight. Cross comes in. It's not bad. Oh, he was going for the overhead there, wasn't he? It was all teed up for something extraordinary. And look, even on the bench, they're just laughing, going, if that had gone in, if he'd have made contact, then that would have been something special. Not the case. But they still have the lead. And the smiles on the faces of all of these Ethiopian fans, I can tell you, with its weight in gold, I can tell you that. But there's another match, remember, Calabar, on the 16th of November. Cross comes in, no one at the far post, only Echiljili, the uh, left back, in possession. Enjoying this uh, little phase of play, Ethiopia. Igwekwe with the header. Oh, great play. 
Wonderful skills. Oh, I love that. Nudged off the ball. It's uh, OK, says the referee. Oh, good pass. This is Nigeria on the attack. What can they do here? It's a good chance for Miguel. Oh, the save from Tassu was extraordinary. Keshi was up on his feet, and Victor Moses should have done better. In a golden position there. He had a great opportunity. Just couldn't find his scoring boots. Ethiopia on the attack. The game's starting to open up now quite a lot. Oh, he's just been nudged off the ball. There's the foul. Yellow card, maybe. Well, that's a... Uh... Oh, boy, Borna. Is he going to reach for his yellow card? That's the big question. He's in his top left um, pocket there. And uh, I think there was that much wrong with that. It was just probably a bit of a shoulder barge, a bit of a nudge. And we have a change. So, coming on. This man has been great. Adan Girma and Okwuri comes on to replace him. And, uh, well, Okwuri. Got a very dangerous free kick here. Very dangerous indeed. What can they do from this? It's about 30 odd meters out. Oh, it's another change as well. And there we have Odu Amadi, who's going to come off. And then comes uh, Igiabo Nosakari. So, two changes in the space of uh, a few minutes. Ukri plays for San George, 23 years of age. He's a forward, so uh, they decided to put three players up front, Bekele, Saeed and Okwuri. Now, can they score a second from this? There's Saeed with the shot. It's another chance, but this time, very poor effort indeed. Gets two bites at the apple. Some really pretty supporters in the, uh, in the stands, and uh, a very concentrated coach Sonet Michel. Good solid defending. Good play from Halu. Test fight with the clearance. Start firing the ball deep into Nigerian territory. Love the intricate, oh, well, that's a uh, very strong challenge, that is, on uh, Asefa. No yellow card, though, that's fine. Just a little bit naughty on the new man, Gibbo. And uh, chasing shadows there on that occasion, through ball going through into the hands of uh, Nyama. Mikel using his body to... Uh, Protect the ball very strongly. Good stuff. Well, knows that Igia Ball plays for Real Betis, 22 years of age. Got a lot of young players in this uh, Nigerian squad. We'll go back to uh, free kick. Offside flag went up, I believe. Mikel's going to make move into a more central position, I believe, and Igiabor's going out wide. And there's Victor Moses goes off, Brown a day. And uh, Brown a day coming on to replace him. Another very strong player. Oh, there's a good goal there, and it's gone in. I can't believe it, Nigeria. Just Emenike has just silenced the Ethiopians. Well, it came out of nowhere, didn't it? Extraordinary couple of changes in the uh, in the team, and he was beaten. And Tasu, well, that's absolutely stunned the Addis Ababa 
stadium and all of the fans, but the Nigerians, well, they're floating, they're uh, soaring high, aren't they? You can just see that again. Good intricate play, and look at that strike. Incredible, he should have done better, Tasu. He's been a pain in their backsides all night, uh, Emenike. And look, it was a piece of individual brilliance that just uh, came out of nowhere. And that's just uh, restored parity, Emenike. And the Nigerians will be very happy with that. Two goals in the second half so far. But it's, uh, they just got caught napping in defense. Plenty of time for more goals. Great strike there from the front man. He'll be very happy with that indeed. Now, can they just uh, take full advantage of this uh, momentum that they have? Ball coming out wide now to uh, Ambrose. And there's the challenge there at the back from Butako. Stephen Keshi's tactics working well, obviously. Taking a bit of time, though. We're halfway through the second half. They win a corner. Needs to be on his guard here, Tessu. It's gone over right too strong over the back, in fact, and it's going to go out for a throw-in. It's a wasted opportunity, wasted bit of uh, possession there for Nigeria. Brown Day plays for Dinamo Kiev in the Ukraine. A very strong player indeed, and uh, one to watch out for as well. He's a forward. Will be uh, up in the ante and uh, trying to uh, launch a full-on attack now, I can imagine. And who can blame him? On the attack, down this left side. The day not able to link up with that, but uh, Tasu does. Well, it's all been going as planned for Ethiopia until a few minutes ago. And uh, Emenike coming up trumps and uh, really catching out that uh, the, the Ethiopian defense they did brownie day born in Lagos they finished the Chatel Sosho in France Dimo Kiev and this will be his 20th cap for Nigeria part of that Africa Cup of Nations team that won the title at the start of the year, good pass, uh, and it's been blocked. Good stuff there from Butako. Just uh, thwarting the danger. Since, since they scored the goal, they look like a different side, don't they, This uh, the Nigerians? And Ethiopia. Well, they've had the sting taken out of them following that effort. There's a chance for Asefa. Asefa just uh, squares the ball into the path of Megesha. Oh, good pass, excellent stuff. And unfortunately, couldn't link that ball down, Okwiri. And they're on the attack once again. It's five against five. And here we have MNEK. MNEK trying to link the ball through to Musa. He's offside. 20 minutes remaining of normal time. And everything to play for. Calabar, return leg, 16th November. Note it down in your diaries because that's going to be one interesting encounter. All of these matches will be frenetic encounters. Coming up just a bit later on, we have a, another interesting clash as well with. Uh, Tunisia up against Cameroon. Samuel Eto making his return to the international fold. A cross comes in and it's been uh, cancelled out there by the Nigerian defence. They've taken the sting out of this game. Akele unable to uh, challenge with the uh, Igwekwe and Ubwabona. Uh, what's uh, Sonet Bishaw trying to organise here? 
It's a tactical game. It's turned into a real tactical uh, encounter now. It's a question of really understanding the uh, mind games just to implement the right tactics for the last 20 minutes. Good squaring the ball into the middle. Mikel just uh, bringing the ball out wide to Ambrose. So Ambrose looking for support. Poor decision there. Didn't really understand each other on that occasion. Good strong header there from Obuabona. That is picked up by uh, this man here, Sefa. Bullied and pushed off the ball. Throw in for Ethiopia. Keshi with more orders from the uh, side of the pitch, as is his opposite number. So an Epishat. Right, change there is. This is the tactical change. So, Bekele's gone off, the front man, and come on, Yuri uh, Addis Hinissa to come on. Gonna change. He's uh, it's a striker coming on for uh, Ethiopia. It's exactly the same type of tactical change that was made by Stephen Keshi. Will it pay off for Ethiopia? Good ball out the right side now. Play on, says the. Oh, there's the uh, cross comes in. And, uh, it's just too strong over the top from Asefa. Turning times, isn't it, for uh, Seonet Bichel. He doesn't want to go to Nigeria with this scoreline. It'll be a very good scoreline for uh, Keshi. Of course, that home advantage in Calabar in that uh, big stadium. Packed out with Nigerians. You know what kind of supporters they have. They're just as enthusiastic as the Ethiopians are, as we can see out there today. In silence for the time being as we enter the last 15 minutes. Something's got to change for Ethiopia. They brought on a, another front man. It isn't enough to guide them to victory. Nigeria on the attack once again. Good bit of one-two. This is good play. Oh, this is that a penalty? Is he going to blow up? No, he hasn't. The referee hasn't signalled a penalty. And, uh, I thought he was bundled over, to be perfectly honest with you. But Musa on the charge. He went down. They still tried their best to try and get the ball. There's a good opportunity now at the other end. Said. Well, he's on side. He hasn't got many players to help him. Oh, that was a poor effort to try and pick out his uh, teammates. And there's the foul. Collected there by Debebe, the captain. You want to get rid of that? Yes, you do, sir. And in, of course he does indeed. They've just, uh, there's not as much urgency as there was uh, in the first half from the Ethiopian players. I can understand that it's very difficult out there. 76 minutes of running around in this. Uh... Oh, there's a great chance for Nigeria! Oh, it comes off the post! It was a great effort from Musa. And the Ethiopian fans holding their heads in their hands. And Keshi was just like going, that would have been great if we'd have scored that. Very unlucky indeed. Wonderful effort and a good shot. And it just ricocheted off the right post. Well, that would have been a killer blow for Ethiopia. But as it stands, they're still in it, but they're 
losing their punch, aren't they? And there's not going to be any kind of a penalty there as Emineke goes down. Players down injured, I believe, so uh, that's where the ball was kicked out of the touch. Nigeria looking dangerous, looking very dangerous. Well, is this too much for Ethiopia? Good ball from uh, Mikel. The shot was good as well. And Tassu. God, that was a firm strike, wasn't it? On the half volley. Beautiful effort. Not good enough to uh, find the back of the net. 1-1 one, one it stands. Well, Burkina Faso have the lead after their first leg, just to put you in the picture regarding the other matches. 3-2. They lead Algeria. So a very entertaining game in Ouagadougou on Saturday. And uh, the Ivory Coast have a 3-1 lead over Senegal. Is this a fair scoreline? Well, I don't think the Ethiopians believe that it's a fair scoreline. I think that they want to, they want victory. They know, they know that it's going to be tough to go down to the Eagles' nest down in Calabar for the return leg in November. They know how treacherous it's going to be. They've done it extremely well, Nigeria, just to uh, stall the, the and uh, reduce the damage. But have they done enough? Oh, it's a nice little chip over the top, but uh, any armor, any armor, just saw it, just dived on it, and uh, the Neil goalkeeper doing enough. Well read by the 31-year-old. Just losing possession again. Some of these players look very tired indeed. Ten minutes remaining. Such an important clash. Cross comes in. Oh, it's not a bad one. It's going to go off for a corner. And Ethiopia still have their chances. Ten minutes on the clock remaining. Maybe a few minutes of added time as it stands. And just uh, running over there to take it, Taco. How many players are up? Trying to cause a nuisance in the penalty area. There was a uh, good opportunity there. It was uh, the Teshom who tried to produce a flashing header at the front post. Ball goes out for another corner. Good movement from the Ethiopians. Here it is again, another chance. Oh, it's uh, just gone flying. Aston out of play. It's the Hintze, Hintze the, uh, the youngster. Plays his football for Dedebit. Uh, no, for Al, Al Ashil Shendi, in fact. They go on the attack again. Idea. Idea gets the ball out to Ambrose. Oh, it's a good, good cross, in fact. But on this occasion, great defensive skills. Look how wonderfully works that is. They understand each other really well. We just bring the ball over to their right hand side. Calm and collected. We love it. 81 minutes in. Time running out for both teams to uh, get that advantage. Squaring the ball nicely. Well, I don't really know what he was trying to do there, but... Uh, under pressure, just getting rid of the ball wildly over, over Abona. I think it was Ambrose, in fact, but uh, we're under pressure. It's a good little bit of a good spell for uh, Ethiopia. It's another pass. 
into the penalty area. Oh, there's a rasping effort from uh, Hinsa. They get the ball back. Whoa. Still in possession, still passing the ball around, still trying to find a way through. They need to be careful with the counter-attack. You can see that Nigeria are just waiting. But they can't get a hold of the ball. How many tired legs are out there? Well, I can imagine 44. And still Ethiopia. Oh, it's a great piece of play, that is. Now, what can they do with this? The ball coming in. Oh, and it's cleared by the centre-back, Obwapona. Golden opportunity for Said. He just took too long to try and swivel and test the goalkeeper, Nyama. And uh, the Gwekwe goes down as well. Let's have a look at that again. The skills there, beautifully played. The cross comes in, one touch. Well, 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 maybe should have tried to uh, test the goalkeeper. Just show him getting that cross in. Just picked him out beautifully. I think it's going to be a goal kick. Oh, Hinsa picks up a yellow card. Three yellow cards for Ethiopia. Tesvai, Asefa, and now Hinsa. Need to be disciplined. We don't want to be hit by a string of suspensions or players just uh, missing matches in the, uh, in the second playoff. That would be a cruel blow for this very courageous Ethiopian team. Clearance wasn't very good there. It's picked up by Musa. Musa gets a good pass in. But uh, strong defending there and man marking there from Tesfaye. Picking up uh, Mikel. And Ethiopia launch another attack. Play. Hinsa. Still got a lot of uh, running in here. It's a good opportunity. Hinsa should have nailed that. That was a beautiful cross coming in from the right. And the uh, substitute should have at least connected to Testenyama. He would have beaten him if he would have connected. There's no doubt about that. Just picked up a yellow card. Could have been a hero at the same time. Goal kick from Inyama. Head it back to Tasu. Helu. Linking up with uh, Gurma. Sorry, uh, Okwiri. Still in possession, Ethiopia. Rasping effort. Not a, well, not a good one. Just a. Uh, Screwed it over to the left-hand side. Is Okwuri the uh, substitute? One of the three substitutes who have come on. Two, sorry. And uh, worrying moments, I think. Sonet Bishow. It's not a bad scoreline for the Ethiopian coach, but uh, I'm sure that it's better than obviously a defeat, because that would have been a mountain to climb. This uh, leaves it all square, but uh, the home advantage really is key. Got to take advantage of it. The ball goes out. Wild pass there, just uh, unable to keep in play. Asefa. Nigeria looking for the winner. Of course, this is a two-legged affair. So this is. Uh, a few minutes away from the half-time score, if you like, for the return leg in Calabar. Well, that was a wild through ball. Said was in no way in position to go and collect that. Ambrose picks it up for Nigeria down this right side. It's a good operation for the Super Eagles. The African champions. 
can't really say that they had a, an amazing campaign through the group stage. They dropped points against average opponents. Finishing top of Group F with 12 points, just one point ahead of uh, Congo. Ethiopia excelled. Good play there from uh, Uba Bona just uh, coming up and standing strong. Doing what he does best, defending. Ethiopia still seeking their first. Oh, it's a good pass. Oh, he's just lost his balance at the front there, I think, uh, Said. Nigeria would just be happy just to uh, defend now, just to prevent any more damage. Whereas Ethiopia will be looking for the advantage here. They can go to Nigeria with a 2-1 lead. And they are very much still in competition and uh, still in with a chance of qualifying for their first ever world cup super eagles from uh, appreciate a 1-1 scoreline of course if they can get another one oh that's going to be a penalty that's going to be a penalty they've been awarded a penalty dragged him down and that uh, is going to be a yellow card and it's the captain de bebe who just tugged on his shirt and it's a blatant penalty. I think that we can see that Eminike in the thick of it once again. And uh, incredible. And Halu picks up the yellow on this occasion, their fifth yellow. It's a lack of discipline on this uh, in the last couple of minutes. That's a massive blow for uh, Saunet Bisho and this Ethiopian team. Now, can Nigeria produce a second goal here? in the final minute of normal time. Just a moment of madness. He was watching the player, not looking at the ball. That's the wrong thing to do. And Emenike will step up for the penalty, up against Tasu. Oh, there it is. Nigeria score. The second goal, 2-1. It's a fine operation for Stephen Keshi and the Nigerians must feel all alone here in Addis Ababa but they've got smiles on their faces because this is a fantastic operation for them a cruel blow for Ethiopia you can see it again well there it was it was pretty blatant wasn't it good running there from him and EK but uh, I'm afraid that Halu should have kept his eye on the ball and, uh, he just took the goalkeeper the wrong way with the spot kick very cool very uh, Slick indeed. And uh, two goals for Emenike, who's been the star player this afternoon in Addis Ababa. But, uh, really rough on the home side. Really rough indeed. Do they deserve that? Well, they've had their opportunities. Let's see if there's a couple of minutes of added time. I don't think that there's that much. Ethiopia launching another attack. Here's Butako. Excellent play there from Teshot. Gets a good cross in. So there's a clearance header and it's a very solid one indeed. It's going to be a throw in for Ethiopia. They want to take it as quickly as possible. Butako. Mugasa brings the ball out wide. They need to try and a couple of crosses in, at least. Still running as much as they can. Oh, they just want to clear that, clear the danger. 2-1 for Nigeria. The Ethiopian coach watches on because it shouldn't really be that scoreline he's probably thinking. Nigerians, they've been ever present, they've waited, they've been calm and collected, and they've seen their opportunities and they've exploited it. But, uh, we 
We've also got to look at the goal that was scored by Ethiopia. It was very, very lucky indeed. Sefa with a cross that went over the line. It wasn't even a shot. Enyama was off his, uh, off his line. Oh, and there was a good opportunity there. It was Hinsa who uh, tried to get the pass across to Said, but I uh, didn't strike it very well. Sonat Bishau. Going through the thought process now. How to beat the Super Eagles, how to beat Nigeria on Nigerian soil. Well, they played in the uh, group stage of the Africa Cup of Nations and they played out a one-all. It was nil-nil until Victor Moses scored two penalties. And once again, they've been, they haven't been played off the field, Ethiopia. They've showed that they've got some uh, talent here and they look very strong. But they also need to know how to beat some of the big teams on the big stage. And for the moment, they haven't really managed to do that. Full credit to both to them. And full credit. You can see the fans are already leaving the Addis Ababa Stadium. Well, it's, uh, it's harsh, isn't it, for the home fans, but at the same time, they come up against a team who've played in four World Cups and who are bidding to try and compete in the fifth. The Super Eagles of Nigeria. They're the ones who'll be dancing tonight. The whole nation will be celebrating a key, crucial win against Ethiopia away. The return match being played the 16th of November in Calabar. Excellent play there from uh, Butako. Needs support, hasn't really got it. Tries the back heel, but there's no one there. Now, Nigeria looking for a third goal. That would be a massive blow. Still, of course, in it. And the ball kept in. Very well done there from uh, Tasu. We're into the fifth minute of added time. It's not going to go on for too long now. There's the final whistle. And 2-1 it is for Nigeria. And Stephen Keshi and the technical staff celebrating. That is a massive win for Nigeria. And... Uh, a severe blow for Sonet Bishau, the coach of this Ethiopian team. They thought they could get the advantage. High altitude here in Addis Ababa. With all of the talented players they've got after a wonderful campaign. But it's not finished yet. And I think that that's the message. How to beat Nigeria away from home on Nigerian soil. That's what it's all about. Jerome Mikel. Played a, a key and a talismanic role in midfield. But it was Emineki who scored two goals this afternoon in the Ethiopian capital. And he thoroughly deserves his uh, glory because that was a wonderful performance from him. His first goal was a beauty, 57 minutes, and then the second and the 90th minute.